Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between Mouse Straylock and MTW Daimaga here on Steps of War. This shoutcast and commentary is sponsored by LU Computers. Go ahead and check out their website, 4 StarCraft 2 Tested Computers. Mouse Straylock spawning over here on the south side of Steps of War. Meanwhile, we have Daimaga spawning as the yellow Zerg here on the north side. Daimaga ch deciding to change his color in this matchup from red to yellow. So it should be a pretty interesting matchup. Daimaga um, doesn't look like to do the extractor trick very often. So most likely going to go ahead and just train up an overlord and then follow it up with one, one drone and then be able to get 12 over 18 food after that overlord is up. Meanwhile, we have Straylock now throwing down a supply depot here and will be able to completely wall off his base really easily as the Terran player likes to spawn on the south side on this map just because you can wall off with one supply depot, one barracks and add that tech lab and it's not too difficult to reinforce it by throwing down another supply depot here and then th you can even throw your factory right here to complete that wall in and complete that wall in and do your tech back over here now Daimaga sitting at 14 over 18 maybe trying to go for a fast hatchery I don't know if no not going to go for a fast hatchery I wouldn't suggest it on this map just because of that early reaper play and early bunker play that's very very common and back over here, we have the extractor now coming into, into play. Extractor before that spawning pool. Spawning pool should be coming in for, in just a moment. There it is. In come that spawning pool. And Daimaga will be able to essentially get 100 gas right as... Um, right as that spawning pool completes, I believe it's going to be like 104 gas right as that spawning pool completes if my calculations or my math is correct. Back over here, barracks now being laid down. We should probably see um, a tech lab being thrown on there momentarily, perhaps train up one marine first, or is he going to uh, wait a little while? No, going to go ahead and upgrade to an orbital command and then go ahead and add, no, train up a marine and then add that tech lab a little bit later. SCV was able to do some quick scouting, sees the early extractor, sees the spawning pool, and now we're going to see the training of the metabolic boost followed by the training of the queen. And then that should the timing should be absolutely perfect. So there it is, metabolic boost and that queen being trained up. So if you're looking for a strong build order, that is it right there. If you need that early queen and that early ling boost, it really, really helps out. Overlord now going to be able to sit right here and gain sight into the Terran base. As we now have this tech lab being thrown down, are we going to get an early reaper? No, early marauder instead. And now Mouse Straylock also has another supply depot thrown down. So not getting that second gas and, and a little bit curious as to how Mouse Straylock's going to open up with this. With this early marauder and early marine made to try to train up more and more more and more marauders and now throwing down racks so he's going for a definite infantry build and i i can't see a lot of infantry working well if it is scouted out by daimaga if daimaga sees this early infantry he will be able to um, throw down a baneling's nest and scv suiciding himself into the base making sure there is not a baneling nest however so once again nicely done as mouse Straylock is currently running off of one gas so will mass infantry be effective against the Zerg player as this overlord is now sitting right there and it looks as though a, a unit was quickly taken down we do have the stim pack now being upgraded marauder sitting over here zergling is going to try to run up this ramp going to take a couple quick concussive shells down it goes or a punisher grenades no concussive shells just quite yet and now throwing down a tech lab and a reactor so yeah mouse straylock wanting to end this game with a very very strong three racks push so this is equivalent to a Protoss player going in, going into a four gate. This is going to be a very, very um, aggressive maneuver by Mouse Straylock. Daimaga now throwing down a hatchery over here. Will and then and that may be a little bit of an issue as that hatchery means that he's not going to be able to have a, as as large as an army. If Daimaga, however, gets an early spire, that early spire may be able to get enough mutilus if he's not training up too many marines. And doesn't get that combat shield. Stimpak now being researched. Now training up double marines. So yeah. Um, um, Straylock going to be pushing with a very very strong infantry. Um, um, for a three racks push. A spire now being laid down though. So will it be enough? There is not going to be medevacs to heal those marines. And those marauders. So they will have to be using their stim packs very very sparingly. Take a look at the income. 23 harvesters for Daimaga. Straylock sitting at 19. And still training up more and more. So more supply depots being thrown down. Production-wise, four Marines, Combat Shield, and Stimpak being researched. Um, are we going to get the Concussive Shells? Not quite sure. No, not enough Marauders to get that Concussive Shell. The Marauders are there simply 
for that additional one one armor and now out out moves this push this is a very very large army a thousand mineral army and with more units still being produced that combat shield may be able to complete in time not 100 percent sure as these as there's one overlord in position there is one zergling and the army now sees what exactly is happening daimaga needs to throw down some spine crawlers otherwise he's going to be in a load of hurt as the spire is not going to be completed nearly in time scv may try to throw down a bunker as well uh, with that bunker yeah a bunker now being thrown down marauders getting in position perhaps try to take down this hatchery over here and now zerglings trying to run around this ramp stim pack being used and there, that's a large number of zerglings and this is this attack may be just be, and no not going to be nullified as there's too many marauders and too many marines to really deal with this bunker nearing completion and this queen now taken down marines may try to yeah marauders now jumping into that and um, that one bunker there probably should try to throw in some low hit point marines instead doesn't want to lose all those units. Zerglings now coming out of those larvae. But this is looking very, very bad now. Mouse Straylock sitting out a 950 mineral army. But we do have five, five mutilists being trained up. Will those mutilists be able to get there in time? Broodlings coming out. Marines able to and Marines able to stay there. And now one marauder and a large number of marines. Marines have that combat shield. So this this timing push is absolutely perfect from Mouse Straylock. May salvage this bunker as these units now move on up over here. There is now a couple mutilists in the air. And will those mutilists be able to deal enough damage? No, not quite sure. One mutilist now taken down. Down. more mutilists and queens being trained up here marauders going after some of those units zerglings now coming in to engage more marines now coming over as well six marines now what making their way over marauders need to pull back marines are really what you need in this whole entire engagement zerglings however making their way and taking that taking a lot of damage down onto these marines marines now sitting over here now using that stim pack coming in and able to get a, more shots onto those mutilists mutilists are very very expensive units as those marines now pushing through and Daimaga says GG. Wow, what a great game. A really, really strong rush by Mouse Straylock, allowing Straylock to win or, or take game three or this third game in this series. Now, Straylock normally does not open up with a, a three racks build like this. So this is a very, very interesting build to say the least. And also the timing on that stim pack and that combat shield was absolutely critical. And getting that combat shield white right as those marines were walking up this ramp that additional 10 hit points absolutely huge not even bothering with the concussive shells knowing that the so that early tech lab was more for um was more for um the the research ability as opposed to those early marauders those marauders were taking some of that damage and were able to take down that early hatchery as well thanks for watching thanks for listening and i hope you guys enjoyed this um three game set between daimaga and mouse straylock